a Jeep Gladiator Eagle Diesel, a Tesla Cybertruck, and a Jeep Wrangler all showed up at an off-highway vehicle park in Northern California. Welcome, or welcome back, to Muddy Ruts Overlanding. This video is not sponsored. Any products you see in it, I purchase with my own money, and all the opinions you hear in the video are my own. I borrowed my wife's Jeep Gladiator Eco Diesel, picked up a couple of mountain biking buddies in Santa Cruz, and we headed over to Hollister Hills State Vehicle Recreation Area for a little off-highway driving. This is a Gladiator Rubicon that I've added 35-inch tires, a worn winch, and a worn bumper to. At the entrance to Hollister Hills is an old schoolhouse, and that's a great place to stop and air the tires down. I used my handy air down tool, but you can use anything to let air out of the tires. Airing the tires down allows for a better grip and softens out the ride. Your bed cover, does that, do you have to unlock and open your tailgate to to get access? Yeah, because the little wires under here Okay, yeah. that. So it is uh, pretty secure unless you cut through that stuff. The nice thing about this Truxedo is it's aluminum slats that roll up. Oh, so it's nice and strong. You can actually strong. put 400 pounds Can you? Yeah. on top of this if it's, if it's uh, evenly distributed. Hollister Hills is an awesome place to have near the house. I finished airing down, then we were going to set out and find some obstacles to challenge this Jeep Gladiator. The plan was Roger would be doing the driving, my buddy Jim would be riding shotgun, and that would free me to sit in the back seat and easily jump in and out to get some video. We found our first obstacle, shifted the Jeep into four low, locked the front and rear axle, and disconnected the sway bar to take advantage of all the options that the Rubicon package provides. Okay, hold it right there. Go driver, go driver, go driver, go driver. Looking good. Looking good. The Jeep was awesome climbing over that gnarly little hill. So we decided to set out on the fire road to find some more obstacles to test this Jeep Gladiator's capability. Get one tire right here and see what happens. Straighten up. Okay, now you're making contact. See, if you, see what happens when you climb. Go drive, go driver, go driver. Good, good. Going. Keep going up that way. Yeah, let me get up ahead of you. Yeah, keep going a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure those are vineyards. So we should be able to see Fremont Peak, see the antennas up there. Um, I think we're south of Fremont Peak. I, I'm I suggested we should head over towards the playground section of Hollister Hills State Vehicle Recreation Area. They have some awesome obstacles that would put the Jeep Gladiator through its paces and I would be able to get some cool video while we were doing it. If you're finding value in the video, hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and definitely leave me a comment and share. After driving a couple miles through the hills, we finally made our way over to the playground area. And we got a huge surprise when we got there. We found when we got to the play area that Tesla had brought a couple of cyber trucks over to do some off-road testing at Hollister Hills. Seeing the cyber trucks in person, I have to say, even though I'm a Jeep guy and a diesel guy, they were very impressive vehicles to see up close and personal. 
The fellows from Tesla were very nice and answered mostly all of our questions regarding the Cybertrucks and its impending release date. They claimed the Cybertrucks would start being delivered in October, and we just assumed they meant October of 2023. I had an opportunity to do a pretty nice walk around and get some good video of the two Cybertrucks and also get some video of one climbing a hill and driving on the road. Check my channel, Muddy Ruts Overlanding, for more videos on the Tesla Cybertruck and more information. Checking out the Tesla Cybertrucks was a whole lot of fun and talking to the guys was great. But the Ranger stopped by and asked us if we could help out a fellow Jeeper who was stuck in one of the obstacles over in the playground. So we took off to do just that. I, I don't do any off-roading, but I know if you're out mountain biking, you try to get over railroad tracks, the problem is your front wheel and your back wheel are hitting it at the, the same, same time. Same and same uh, yeah, yeah, it traps you. It definitely traps you. Tuesday is a pretty slow day at Hollister Hills. So there was no other Jeeps around to help this fellow out, so he had been stuck for quite a while. He made a valiant effort to self-rescue with the equipment he had available, but I knew it was going to take a winch to pull him out all the way. I took some rocks out from in front of the tires that I did not think were going to aid in this Jeep's recovery. Now that I got the rocks out of the way of the front of the Jeep tires, I took my Gladiator and got it in position so I could run the winch rope out and hook on to his Jeep. Most important thing was hooking everything up properly and keeping everybody out of the way so nobody got hurt. But give it a try like this and if it doesn't work, we'll change things up. We'll try to pull it out and if my Jeep starts to slide, I'll put something around here to hold my Jeep. Okay, sure. We'll see if it starts to slide. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Take, we'll use this. Okay. And we'll use this. Probably gonna be all we need besides the winch. It's a winch for now. Let's okay. see what happens. See what happens. We have to do something else. Try the simplest method first. Installed winch disconnect switches on both of my Jeeps, and you'll find video of how to install that on my channel. I also like to have the hood open when I'm winching. If something does go flying, hopefully it wouldn't go through the windshield. It'll hit the open hood first. I hit the switch on the winch so I could free spool enough line out to reach over to the Jeep Wrangler. Put you to work over there, pulling that baby out. <laughs> Even though this Jeep was only equipped with a stock plastic mupper, it still comes with two great tow hooks that you can hook to for winching this vehicle out. All my rigging are soft shackles and soft crane straps. The only metal portion of my yeah, rigging is the Factor 55 quick link that's on the end of my winch line. My 40 years of construction gave me a lot of opportunities to work with a lot of rigging and winching systems. Vehicle recovery is much safer with the use of Dyneema winch line and soft shackles. Climb, yeah. Make, make sure you can hear me and everything, okay? okay. Perfect. You guys gotta stand clear. Yeah, we're standing well clear. Oh, your, did it? Your your high lift jack? Yeah, a little bit. It wouldn't lift it? No. Okay. Oh, well, it lit a little bit. But not big. Again. But uh, not not enough to get the logs under. Can can you get it up like about 10 inches? You think? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's try that because that, yeah, that might help. Um, we gotta try to lift it up and then get uh, something underneath the tires to get it lifted up a little bit. Yeah, but above the center line anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you might have just yeah, yeah, one side at a time. So yeah, while you're doing that, I'm gonna take and tie my Jeep up because my Jeep's sliding. Okay. So I'm gonna tie it up to something back there. Holy shit. And then see if it's um. But you got to give us a little advantage if you can with um. Yeah. See if we, which log. Yeah. Actually, there's several logs we can use. Yeah. Whatever you can find. The Jeep owner was able to use his high lift jack to lift the Jeep tires up enough to get some logs underneath each tire. While I figured out a way to anchor my Jeep so it wouldn't slide while we were winching, the guys helped the Jeep owner find the different debris to throw underneath the tires to lift it up to at least get the center line of the tires to the center line of that telephone pole in the obstacle. It was hot out, we were in dirty conditions, and it was definitely a lot of work to lift that Jeep and get some debris underneath the tires. But that was going to be what we were going to have to do to get this gentleman unbogged. They're about ready to go on this end. Let's see how I did at anchoring the Gladiator. Fortunately, there was a massive log buried behind my gladiator and I had the perfect strap to wrap around it and hook to each of the tow hooks on the rear bumper. Now we were ready to give it another shot at getting this fellow's Wrangler out. All right. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, right. Woohoo. Give him tension and then then uh... Okay, good. Now you got me running the winch. Now when we get ready to pull them some more then, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. And I really appreciate you watching. I didn't really get to do right. the things I wanted to do here at Hollister Hills, but it was a big surprise seeing the cyber trucks and that was awesome. Helping a fellow Jeeper was awesome. And overall, it was a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, the best is yet to come.